friends, I'm so excited to see you today. Are you ready for some worship with Miss Cindy? We'll stand up, 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 and I'll see you soon. Well, hi everyone. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Let's get our hands ready. Get them warmed up, let's clap. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice. Be glad in it and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Because today is a brand new day and I want to say thank you. Are you ready to help me sing? All right. Well, why don't we all stand up, 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 up. Today is a brand new day and I want to say thank you. Today is a brand new day and I want to say thank you. This is the day that God has Welcome back from worship. Did you have fun? Oh, I know you did. And you know what? I get to tell you an amazing story. And do you know where it comes from? This book. What is it called again? The Bible. You're so right. And remember, there's the two parts of the Bible. I have a front part and a back part. Do you remember what those are called? You have the Old Testament and the New Testament. Good job. And today we will be in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, starting in verse 25. But before we begin there, I have a question for you. Have you ever been sick before? You have? Well, I remember one time when I was little, my tummy hurt and I couldn't eat anything. So my mommy and daddy had to take me to the hospital. And there they gave me some medicine to help me feel better. They even did some games and played some activities with me, like painting my fingernails to help me feel loved. And once I was feeling better and eating, they let me go home. And in our story today, there is a man who is hurting. So let's put on our listening ears and button and zip our lips so that way we can hear how this man was helped. So our story today starts out with a man who knows a lot about the Bible. This man had a question for Jesus. This man wants to know how he could be God's friend forever. Since he knew a lot about the Bible, Jesus asked him, well, what does the Bible say? And this man answered saying, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus told him that this is the correct answer. 
But after he answered that, another question popped into his head. And so he asked, who exactly is my neighbor? So Jesus responded to this question with a story. And that story went like this. There was a man traveling from one town to another. In the middle of his travels, he was beaten up by some robbers who also took his clothes. Oh no, that didn't sound good. The Bible says that this poor man was laying half dead on the side of the road. What was gonna to happen to this man? Wait, what was that he heard? Footsteps. The Bible tells us that a pastor was walking. Show me a thumbs up if you think he'll help him and a thumbs down if you think he will not help him. Hmm. Well, let's see what it says. It says in verse 31 that this pastor happened to be going down the same road and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. This man who was thought to be loving didn't even want to walk next to him. So he stepped over to the other side and he did what? He kept on walking. After some time, the hurting man heard another set of footsteps. This man was a teacher. He was thought to be a loving man too. Show me a thumbs up if you think he'll help him and a thumbs down if you think he will not help him. Well, let's see what the Bible says. In verse 32, it says that when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. Oh no, both the pastor and the teacher passed by him. Who was gonna help him? Well, after a little more time had passed, someone else was walking by with his donkey. This man was a Samaritan, a man who was not thought to be loving. Do you think he helped him? Or no, he didn't. Hmm. This man did help. Hooray! He put on band-aids on his boo-boos. He even put the hurt man on his donkey and took him to an inn where he would be taken care of. But that would cost the hurt man a lot of money and the robbers had taken everything he had. So the loving Samaritan man paid the innkeeper. He even told the innkeeper that he would come back and pay the rest if what he had paid wasn't enough. At the end of the story, Jesus asked the man, which of these three showed love to others? Of course, the man answered the one who showed love to the hurt man. So Jesus told him, go and show the same love to everyone you meet. Jesus was teaching this man how to truly show God's love to others and not just the ones we like. You too can help show God's love to others by helping. Hmm, what do you think are some ways that you can help? Can you help a brother or a sister clean up a mess you didn't help make? You can. What about if something drops? You can be the one to pick it up, can't you? Or after dinner, you can help clear the table and wash the dishes. There are so many ways that you can help. And if you need some more ways, I'm sure a grown-up would be willing to help you find a way that you too can help. Boys and girls, you did such a great job keeping your listening ears on that I have three questions for you to see what you learned. My first question is, what did the robbers do to the man who was walking down the road? Do you remember? They beat him up and took his clothes, didn't they? And they left him half dead. My second question is, who stopped to help the hurt man? Do you remember? He was a loving man, right? He was a Samaritan. Can you say that? Samaritan, good try. My third question is, what is one way you can show God's love to others? Do you know? Was it by maybe helping clean up after dinner or picking your toys up, even if you didn't make a mess? My friends, there are so many different ways, so don't forget to ask what you can do to help. Well, now we have a super cool coloring page and a craft to help you tell the story to somebody else. Do you see them? I can't wait to see what yours look like, but don't go away just yet because now it's time for a memory verse with Miss Cindy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back everyone. Are you ready? Are you ready to have some shakers for our memory verse? All right, hopefully you have one. in the
the Bible. Mark 4, 2 through 3. He taught them many parables and teaching said, L-I-S-T-E-N, L-I-S-T-E-N. We need to listen. Mark 4, 2 through 3. One last time. He taught them many things by parables and in I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, worship friends, I'll see you.